that was going on everyone uh, in today's video there's going to be a lot of talking for probably four or five minutes um, so if you don't want to hear me talking then just go ahead and go to the end of the video where i'm going to have the draggy posted uh, i only say that because someone said that i i guess i talk too much in my videos and i don't show enough but i'm sorry i'm a very uh, explanatory person and i like to explain things as as well as I possibly can of why I'm doing things or how I'm doing things or whatever the case um, because I don't like just posting videos that's why I have shorts and that's why I have Instagram to just post random nonsense but on my regular videos I'm gonna explain stuff so anyways sorry about the dumb little rant but uh, I just wanted to explain that so, in today's video, it is obviously about my Draggy and my S1000, or not in, on my S1000 double R. Uh, it is a 22 model, in case you haven't seen the uh, video I posted forever ago when I first got it. Uh, <clears throat> the bike's still completely stock. Sorry about the, cloak, the throat clears. Probably getting sick or something, but... Uh, the bike's still stock, completely stock. I haven't done anything to it. I've been trying to get a drag on this thing forever, and finally I got around to it. Uh, just between a mixture of time and uh, forgetting my draggy at home or not charging it or whatever the case. Anyways, I finally got around to it. Uh, it was a morning. It was, I think it was probably upper 80s outside, but uh, the IT was reading like 94 degrees or 95 degrees something like that I went ahead and used second gear uh, I obviously could have used first and, but the reason I didn't first gear will willy a little bit nothing crazy especially with with all the safety things on or just I don't know six inches to a foot if that and and then it um, comes right back down but I want a apples to apples comparison as best as possible um, without any other little things interfering uh, like a wheelie for example and the comparison being uh, a stock time versus when I tune it. So uh, once I get it tuned I'll do another one in second gear. Uh, I'm also going to do a first gear draggy and I'm going to post that. It'll be a completely separate video uh, whenever the hell I get time. But it'll be a completely different video just to see how much quicker it is. I, I know it's going to be quicker just because second gear is so... Uh, it's very lazy in the, in the lower RPMs up until, I don't know, around 8,000 RPMs or 9,000 RPMs. And it, then it starts to wake up and the power starts, starts to come in. Uh, but first gear will obviously be faster. I just didn't want the the little willy to interfere with time, uh, where second gear won't do any willy at all, or well, at least with all the nannies on. So uh, the next time that I post a draggy, uh, at least the second gear wise, it'll be with the tune, and uh, and I'm gonna do a first gear one as well just to see how quick I can get it get it into the fours it'll obviously go into the fours first gear I also want to mess with the uh, off the top of my head I believe it's DVC uh, I think it's um, dynamic uh, or driver dynamic control or something dynamic control I don't even remember uh, it's been a while since I've looked at it but um, I want to mess with that because I've watched a few videos on how you can adjust the damping of the shocks as well as the uh, wheelie control itself and the traction control. I know you could pretty much mess with the uh, like wet mode or, or rain mode I mean versus a uh, dynamic and then I think it's like race and then completely off. It's like three or four different ones. So I kind of want to go through and see if I can find a, a good happy medium where I can use first gear and just pretty much rip it and maybe it not come up at, at much at all 
I know there's still a lot of things I need to do uh, where, you know, the guys that are super experienced, and I'm, and I'm not super experienced, by the way, but the guys that are super experienced with bikes and these bikes specifically, um, you know, to lower it, put the straps on it, uh, make it where it can't really uh, lift the front end very much at all or, or separate the front end. Uh, I know there's a lot of stock wheel based BMW guys, but there's also a good amount of stretch, uh, stretch BMW guys. So I know there's a lot of things and a lot of ways around it. I just want to tinker with all the things that comes with it, so I want to mess with it as I have time. So <clears throat> I just wanted to give a little explanation of, of why I did second gear and also put uh, the draggy with the explanations into my uh, actual feed so that way I can look back on it or if someone uh, has something that they can add because I know the shorts they kind of don't go too far sometimes but uh, or Instagram sometimes doesn't go too far at least with uh, my little following but I tend to get comments on the actual uh, videos I post so if anyone has any insight or advice to add to messing with the, all the uh, controls for the Woody control and traction control and even the damping, uh, how, how much that affects it all. I see a lot of the guys, they have it on, um, I guess it's like a math thing, I'm, I'm not really sure is it, but uh, I'll see where it says if they use one of the pro, pro racer um, settings, it'll say like negative seven. I don't know if that's like if you take one away from the wheelie control and one away from the traction control, does that mean negative two or or what? But anyways, I see that, so I see guys mess with it. I just have yet to mess with it. So anyways, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Again, if anyone has anything to add that will help me with the adjustments, um, then uh, feel free to throw in there whatever you'd like. So. Here's the draggy one more time for anyone who hasn't seen it and uh, I guess I'll see y'all guys later.